RTC, we start with one hour chart. If we refer to our analysis in my last video, when the price was within this move, we mentioned how we can look for trade. The only way was having trade above the top. Okay. And as we can see, the price tag and drop, and we didn't get the trade. All right. Anyway, now we're looking at this, and still we can look for the reversal. Any continuation with the flag, now we can look for flag because at that time when the price was within this move, the only way was to have entry above the top, but we didn't get the trade. And as we can see, the price dropped. But the right now, if we want to look for the trade, we can expect. I mean, right now we can look for the flag. If we get any flag, we will take the trade. And then another option is to have entry either above here or above this top, we can put the entry above this, all right? And what we're looking for, we're looking for the price sharply break and continue. If the price tag within one or two hours is not moving, we take with the trade. And the rest is similar to what we explained in my last analysis. If we get any trade, we're looking for the short move. If the price tag 288, this is where we start to manage. If there is a continuation, when the price tag 303, this is where we move our stop loss to book some profit, which we move our stop loss to 288, okay? We're looking for the reverse up. We're looking for the sharp move, not the corrective move. If this one turns to a corrective move, we are not going to keep the trade or take the trade because still we can expect for this one to turn to be a correction. Anyway, we move to higher time frame, we move to daily chart. And the only thing is we want to see whether we can get the reverse out or the price can consolidate here for a longer time. Okay. And if I move to, rather than that, we have nothing else to discuss based on daily chart. We move to forward chart. As I mentioned, based on one hour chart, we're looking for the up move for, for buy, but we're looking for, we want to see whether the price can break the previous top con to continue or not. Because if the price tag is still, we can expect for this one to turn the, to a flat. Okay, for one more drop or even this one can turn to more complex correction. We need to be aware of that. That's why if you're looking for the trade, we're looking for the reversal with the sharp move, not the corrective move. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.